Hey, I just made a video telling Christians to uh, wake up to the reality of flat earth and maybe it was a f little flippant and didn't help much in the way of convincing you. Uh, from a biblical aspect, you know, there's nothing in the Bible that mentions any of this stuff. Nothing. It basically describes a uh, motionless plane with um, a, a firmament over the top, separating the waters from the waters. The waters above, the waters beneath. Now we live in the realm in between. Um, God didn't mention, however, a globe, Earth, rotating at a thousand miles per hour, uh, rot uh, and then revolving around a uh, nuclear furnace at 66,600 uh, miles per hour, 666. He didn't, uh, he failed to tell us about the 500,000 miles per hour we were going around the Milky Way or the 1.3 million miles per hour we're going around the Great Attractor. And all of this takes place in an ever-expanding sub-zero vacuum that we call infinite space. And God forgot to tell us about all that, or that was made up by man, which I obviously believe that's what happened. The second part of it is from, uh, from the flat earth point of view and looking at videos and, and, and thinking about it is I wouldn't get too caught up in all the um, debate over there's a myriad of things. What I would focus on is um, the curvature of the earth and the spin of the earth. There's been experiments to try and find the curvature of the earth. Every one of them has failed. They cannot find the curvature of the earth. The spin of the earth, they did quite a few experiments trying to figure out how fast we were spinning. And when they did them, they found out we weren't spinning at all. And that was kind of hush-hush and put away. In fact, that's, um, that's where we got Einstein's uh, theory of relativity because they couldn't figure out from this one experiment called Michelson-Morley, I believe, that why wasn't there any spin recorded? And then the theory of relativity came out of that. The same way, um, you know, hundreds of years before, Newton came up with gravity because people who believed in a logical flat earth that they observed with their eyes had questions and they were like, where is, um, how do we stay on a ball that's spinning around and, and some people are upside down and he was like, well, gravity, which is like this mysterious force. So there's just a few of my, uh, helpful hints to stay on curvature and spin at first. There's a lot of people who've done experiments themselves on YouTube looking for the curve and they, and they cannot, you, you'll see it with your own eyes, laser pointers over, over miles and miles and miles. And they, there's no curvature. There's no measurable curvature. The spin, I don't think there's anything on YouTube really doing that, but there's other videos explaining the Mickelson Morley and what happened. And uh, basically, I just wanted to put that out there just so I'm kind of helping people in my own little way. Uh, but uh, yeah, flat earth, it's real.